What is up, you guys? It's your boy Slash or Fanatic back once again with another video. And today, guys, I'm gonna be doing reasons why Rob Zombie's Halloween remake movies suck. First of all, now, first of all, guys, to get some of my positives out of the way, I liked the. I do like Tyler Maine as Michael. He's one of the more He's one of the, you know, you know, just better performances as Michael Myers. And I like his his mask. That pretty much, you know, that was pretty much the first, you know, weathered down mask before we had the 2018 mask. And um uh, and I like the and I like the kills in both of the Rob Zombie movies, you know, like like the head stomp kill or the bathroom stall kill or the or, or, like, really damn good kills and you know, both of the Rob Zombie. <clears throat> However, though, getting into my negatives, with both of the Rob Zombie movies, reasons why they suck. Um, First of all, all the characters. The thing, Scout Taylor Compton's version of Laurie Strode, it's just, I don't even know, guys. She says this, like, really just out there, just weird as hell, like, dialogue and dang I'm a uh, pretty much all the flashback scenes and stuff you know humanizing Michael you know making him a sympathetic remember what I said about my reasons why I hated the Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 remake when you try to sympathize with our villains it does uh, it takes away the the you know the subtlety it takes away you know the mystery of who they are when you dive in deeper into their backstories, it takes away the mystery, which we prefer in our slasher villains. And when, now, next up, the, now, next up, the dialogue. Oh my God, Rob Zombie is an overrated writer. Rob Zombie is overrated as hell, seriously. And both of his Rob and both of his Halloween movies are proof of that. I mean seriously, just the dang opening minutes of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007. Oh, I'm gonna crawl over there and I'm gonna go fuck the shit out of you. Cry shit, cry shit. That's all that fucking does is cry. <laughs> You're jealous of your daughter's ass. And then the dang Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, you had the scene in the dang ambulance. You had the scene in the ambulance where the damn, um, you had the scene in the ambulance where the two dang ambulance, you know, paramedics are talking about like effing a corpse. And I'm like, Rob Zombie, stop with your fucking dialogue. Stop. Just seriously though, guys, Rob Zombie just, just, and then the whole, the whole ghost thing, because, oh, I gotta have my wife in all my movies, you know, with Sherry Moon Zombie, so, of course, Rob Zombie has to put his wife in, in the dang Rob Zombie's Halloween, his, in his second Halloween movie, even though she, she killed herself in the first one, she, you know, he he just had to, be, you know, so now they, Michael's seeing them visions of his mom and a white horse, and then dang, Lori sees those same visions, and you go, what the hell? And then the scene, the scene where Michael talks, Rob Zombie made Michael Myers speak. Then the number one rule of the silent slashers is we never have them speak. Never have them speak at all. And and like, you're finally going to make Michael speak. And all he could say is, die! Just like, why? Just why? And then, you know, he stabs thing. Dr. Loomis and then dang Sheriff Brackett opened fires on Michael and then Lori comes out and freaking picks up the knife and then they open fire on Lori. Just a confusing as hell ending with Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. What the hell? And then like she and like and then like the end Lori sees freaking damn that white horse again. Uh, stop showing Stop putting your damn wife in all your movies and stop with the white horse shit. 
the stop rocks on me. My gosh. Seriously, guys. So overall, guys, Michael and the Kills are the two reasons why you should watch the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. But no, no, better yet, just go on YouTube. Watch the Kills in both of the Rob Zombie movies on YouTube. You'll thank me later. But uh, do not watch the actual, you know, because you have to suffer through bad dialogue. <laughs> Just, like, really bad dialogue. And, of course, them, you know, them showing how Michael became a serial killer. Like, seriously, we didn't need that. Stop. We, we didn't need that at all. We didn't need that. So, seriously. But overall, guys, those are just my thoughts on reasons why Rob Zombie's Halloween movies suck. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section, and we will talk about it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye, guys, and as always, don't forget to keep on slashing.